Hello everyone, VJOSA32 back again with another edition of What's on Deck. Actually, I'm going to do a Kickstarter uh, slash Indiegogo one and then we'll do other stuff. Um, so let's start off with Indiegogo. First of all, we got the Vigor Playing Cards Blue Edition from Alvin Herp. Available right now, it's uh, not doing so good. 11% funded. Uh, a month left. I mean, it should make it there. The previous red one did. Obviously, this is a recolor. That might hurt it a little bit since it's uh, the same thing. Just a new color. It's a nice color. I did like the red one. It handled very nicely, I will say. And uh, it looked really cool, too, when handling for, like, fluorescent and stuff like that. I know people like that sort of stuff. Um, the bat, the, uh, that's the bat design, obviously. It's very nice, as you can see, for fluorescent and cardistry. The faces, they are custom. They are faceless, as you can see. And they're just uh, the same as before. The color, I guess. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty simple. There's your jokers. Um, there was one more I tried to show you last week, I didn't really get to. I will look at, I see the air deck, it's available here if you missed out. Fantasy, that's the one. There's several decks here, there's a few decks, I know a couple of decks that were on Kickstarter before that, oh my word, Vampire Ella Tarot card deck. I see, they look like they're topless women, okay. There are some decks from Kickstarter that end up here for selling more, uh, for continuing on. Um, anyways, this is the fantasy point cards I tried to mention last week. It's 7% funded, 21 days to go. Not likely to happen. The back design is so-so, uh, which is not what you want in a project that you're trying to find money for. Um, and the faces are no-go, <laughs> in my opinion. I don't really particularly like this style of pips. Um, and also, I dislike that everything is the same color, and it's all kind of geometric shapes, so it all kind of blends together, and it'll be kind of hard to distinguish this from that, and not very usable in my opinion. And then the court cards, they look like blobs of ink. <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're I, I don't know what the hell is supposed to be there, pretty bizarre. No idea what they're supposed to be. And then the Jokers are pretty simple. Uh, a little bit overuse of these colors as well. I mean, that's all you get. The faces and the backs, the same colors throughout. And it's just not great. There's one more here that I noticed. It's called the Footy Cards versus Cancer. Help give Cancer a good old fastened search front, whatever that's supposed to mean. It is funded. Eight days left. Um, the cards are not very exciting. What is this? That's the back design. The back design is laces on a football, I guess. A ball. Or maybe it's laces on the shoes. I guess it could be. Um, it's very plain and simple. The, the faces, they feature football players, or maybe it's rugby players, or soccer players, I guess they, they're football players, or, uh, they look more like rugby players. There's a list of them here as well, I'm not familiar with any, any of them, it says footy, I expect it would be soccer, but it's not a soccer ball, and they're carrying the ball, so obviously it's not, it's very pixelated. Apparently, there's been a couple of different catches directly affected his family recently. And he's going to be donating money to the Marquise Foundation. So it's for a good cause. $22 though for a deck of cards. It comes in a hard plastic case. Obviously, it's not going to be the best quality. 
hundred percent of the proceeds go towards fighting cancer, which is good. And they're pixelated, and it just shows you the back of a player with a ball in hand, their number, their colors, and that's it. That's what you get for all the cards. It's not very exciting. It's you know it's for a cause, but it is what it is. Let's move on to Kickstarter. And I'll try to be quick about it, but you know me. <laughs> if you're looking for a quick recap of what's on Kickstarter, this is not it. Let's move on. Um, first of all, got the Bicycle Four Seasons Autumn Point Cards from Collectible Point Cards. It is funded four days to go, as is the Winter Edition with 17 days to go on that one. I know someone made a comment to me on my YouTube, I think it was, it must have been about the cost of shipping these decks and having to pay it four times. My suggestion is if you are looking to get these and you don't want to pay shipping four times, either A, wait for it to be on collectiblepointcards.com or another website and buy them all together, or B, Wait until the last project because you'll probably be able to get all four together and pay shipping once. That's the downside from doing a series like this in four different projects is you end up paying shipping four different times. Uh, and that's one thing I, have, I just like from some websites sometimes and they do that. Like, I think it was Conjuring Arts used to do that before. So you have three different decks, you're releasing them three different times. I had to pay shipping three different times, and actually, uh, I'm getting into a little House of Playing Cards Blue Crown similar incident um, from the other day regarding that in the next video when I do the regular playing card stuff. Next, we got Bicycle Ophidian from PlayingCards.net, designed by Shapeshifters Playing Cards. It is funded 21 days to go. It's got a snake theme. Pretty interesting, but faces are quite similar to the Mystiques, which is disappointing. Let's try to, you know, do something different next time, Safe Sitters. Next up, we got Chameleon Point Cards from Carter Street Collective. It is funded, 18 minutes to go. Not too surprising, all the Carter backing that one, obviously. Essential Point Cards by Mankin Chan. 36% funded, 15 days to go. Don't really think it's going to make it, but you never know. Travel Band Point Cards by David Taylor. 0% funded, 11 days to go. It's not going to happen unless Donald Trump backs it. <laughs> and then we got Git Deck Point Cards by Variantal25. It is 86% funded, 25 days to go. Let's see what this is all about. I haven't looked at it yet. And it is each individual card contains a useful git command and a brief description explaining it. Git stash branch, branch name. Creates a new branch applied to the charges from the changes from the latest stash. I have no idea what the hell that means <laughs> or what the hell git is. <laughs> um, oh, they previously did a code deck. It's a computer deck, obviously. Um, it's different, I guess, computer commands. So it's got a limited appeal. The back design is interesting, and it's actually mirror image. However, it's got a lot of white space. Six not bad looking, although I prefer a natural redhead. And I prefer natural fingernails, as opposed to stuck-on fingernails, but that's besides the point. It's, the deck is, I mean, it's okay if you're into this sort of thing. I have no idea what any of this means. I don't do code, I don't do computers, stuff like that, so it's a pass for me. Moving on, uh, uh, Estate Playing Cards, that's just a computer program. Uh, Keith Wilson, 0% funded this still not going to happen. Lunatica by Fred Boy Industries, beautiful deck, well funded, six days to go, definitely worth checking out, I recommend it. Twisted Wonderland, which we launched last week. 
by cards enthusiast is currently 35 percent 17 days to go it don't think it's gonna happen again it just I mean still a pretty high goal still the same stuff it wasn't getting a whole lot of support last time so I don't think it's gonna get too much this time arcs playing cards by lucid 52 and someone's grass grass rask I don't know why I said it like that I'm thinking of a Portuguese name um, it is funded 28 hours to go it did hit the goal which is good for them Abhors V2 by Empire Arts 69% funded 51 hours to go cross your fingers it does not fund because these guys are basically art thieves and should not be supported uh, Carter Matter by Alain Benoit has funded 7 days to go definitely worth checking out you haven't Draconian Knights playing cards by Randy Butterfield, aka Midnight Cards. Funded 16 days ago, also worth checking out if you haven't done so. Three Stooges playing cards by Chris Choco and designed by Jackson Wilmington is not looking too good at this rate. It's still sitting at about a fifth uh, of the goal. 19% funded, 15 days to go. I don't see it happening at this rate. They need over 50 thousand dollars fifty five thousand dollars to hit that goal and I just don't see it happening and I've gone on way too much about that and how I think it's too high of a goal there's too many decks and others have created licensed decks like Albino Dragon with much smaller goals um, anyways Oculus by Mike Wilson aka the Duck Free 18 designed by Randy Butterfield is funded Three days to go, also worth checking out. The FU deck. Trying to keep this video sponsor friendly. I mean, uh, advertiser friendly. Uh, it's uh, by OMB Magic. It is unsurprisingly funded with 19 hours to go, despite the fact that it's really lackluster and not user friendly or sponsor friendly or advertiser friendly or anything like that. The whole nine cards, plenty of playing cards, it's all about puns by Tom Stone, 0% funded, $0, nobody's interested, not one bit, seven days to go, I mean, you got a back design that just says the whole nine cards, plenty of playing cards, nobody wants that, that's horrible, and then the faces, again, horrible, uh, I'm sorry, but to be blunt, but it is, former playing cards by TCC, now I'll get reading in my ears, uh, my TCC card history is 84% funded 12 days to go. Surprisingly not funded yet, but I'm sure it will before it ends. Bicycle Essentials by Nathan Goldberg, aka Nathan's Pragmatic Magic. 25% funded 4 days to go. Not gonna happen. Uh, then we got Riders of the Apocalypse Volume 2 by Ace Collectible Cards. It is funded 27 days to go. Uh, this is my buddy. I guess I could say he's a bit of a sponsor. He is going to be sending me these to review just like you did previously and I appreciate that and thank you for that. Uh, it's very interesting art. Uh, lots of cleavage. I like that. You must know what I like. <laughs> because it's definitely got the, uh, the cleavage going on. This must be the female version of the deck. Only 2,500 being produced for the standard. 800 of the limited edition. There is also a gaff card, half queen. And I have a different queen, two different queens. Uh, in Bossy on the tuck case and foil, custom seal, printing inside the tuck box. The back is the same as the volume one, so you can actually mix them together if you want, which is an interesting idea. And they'll be packaged. SIP ANA strong protective packaging. Playing card collector.net. Hmm, might have to check that out. I don't see my logo on there. It's the same. <laughs> don't, I don't care, it doesn't matter. Um, the number of cards 2 to 4, 5 to 7, 8 to 10. Each have their own unique set framed. Um, you can see here, each seat has a different color, which is cool. Although, I'm having difficulty seeing some of these indexes, the letters. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. What is this, Wonder Woman? <laughs> I 
interesting skull horse. It's pretty interesting. Pretty hot. <laughs> um, and this is the limited edition. Or the same. There's a that's the back design. Kind of simple but decent. And inside a tuck case. And you can add on previous stacks if you missed out, like the Four Seasons and the Whole Roar. Perfect time to get the Whole Roar because it's Halloween time almost. And actually, I don't think I've seen the Volume 1 yet, but I look forward to checking it out when it does come. Next up, Alice in Wonderland by Will Roya is funded 14 hours to go. I mean, it's a pretty interesting looking deck, Alice in Wonderland inspired. I actually prefer the on some previous Alice in Wonderland decks, even though the quality wasn't too great because they were printed by Carter Monday and before they were actually good. I mean, it was decent quality, but it wasn't great. But I, I don't remember who the creator was. I do know there was a lot of issues with that one fulfillment-wise. But they were beautiful decks, and there's been others that were not so not so good, like the, the ones from Deck Starter were not great. Uh, this one is kind of in the middle. It's not bad. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. Maybe later. But it's not bad. It's definitely worth checking out. Next up, we got Patriot Point Guards by DF13 Skateboards. And what the hell just happened there? It's fine. It's probably what I wanted. And it is 3% funded, 24 days to go. Not doing good at all. Um, $15,000 goal is extremely high. Or, uh, it's pretty high. Especially considering it is being printed by MPC, from what I know. I could be wrong. Now, they do show you three different colors here. The Vintage Blue, Vintage Red, and Vintage Neutral. Okay, that seems like it's unnecessary, but okay. However, only the blue deck is available in this project, which... Seems kind of ridiculous. The aces are, they look like modified uh, NPC aces, as mainly the ace of spades and the ace of clubs. Uh, I think the ace of hearts and ace of diamonds are, I mean, I could be wrong, they just remind me of just kind of standard NPC aces. Here you get your kings, three presidents, and Martin Luther King, the queens. Uh, much of important women to American history. Uh, Harriet Tubman, of course, was with the Underground Railroad, which you're welcome from Canada. We, we helped a lot of slaves back in the day escape slavery into Canada. Um, then there is the first female presidential candidate in American history, Victoria Woodhull. Never heard of her before. So Saka, Sakagawea, a Native American explorer. Is that the one that helped uh, a couple other explorers? Whatever. And Clara Barton, founder of the Red Cross. If the Red Cross, small typo. And then we got the Jacks, which include Nathan Hale. Enoch Crosby, Paul Revere, and James Armistead, and I really am only familiar with Paul Revere. Sorry, I don't know a lot of about American history. We don't learn a lot in school here. At least we didn't when I was in school. I mean, we learned some. We learned all about the uh, the, um, the colonies and stuff like that. And <laughs> Twist it up here a little bit. Anyways, we learned about the the colonies and we learn about the Civil War and stuff like that and of course the War of 1812 where we kicked America's ass <laughs> and, uh, and and stuff like that from what Canadian history obviously and the Jokers have Uncle Sam they're pretty simple but they're, they're, they're fine and nice you know that the artwork is nice I like the artwork the back design, however, looks a little bit familiar. Why? Well, if you check out the Bicycle US Presence deck from Collectible Playing Cards, 
or on the USBC's website, you'll see that it's basically the same thing as the capital with the US flag in the background. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it's a copy or they're trying to copy, but it is the same overall back design, except for the corners are different on this one. And it's too similar for my liking. And it does say printed on 310 GSM linen air stock, which to me sounds like it's MPC, and the aces look like MPC aces, so that's what I'm going with. So $15,000 for a single MPC deck seems uh, excessive. Also, for a deck that's all about patriotism in America, why is it not being produced in America by the USPC, especially with a $15,000 goal? I don't know. That's a good question. Custom Splash Painting Playing Cards by Lauren, 14% funded, 9 days to go. Not going to happen. Uh, Life Deck by the Massa Family and Company is funded, 3 days to go. I Don't ask me why or how that funded, but it did. Not, don't worry, you won't see a review of uh, the sperm back on my channel. I don't plan on it anyways. Unless somebody wants to send it to me. Um, Harmony by Rana Mahmoud. Sadly, unfortunately for her, is not going to find 4% funded. 17 days to go. Then we got Interlude, Hannah Fruit of Card Deck, which we will look at, by Kelly McKernan. It is 63% funded, 24 days to go. It looks like it's heading in the right direction. Man, I still got a few more I want to talk about here. Um, and as you can see, it is designed with the Hannah Fuda deck. Interesting faces. Artistically, it's very nice, pleasing, if you will. Uh, don't know what the back design looks like. Unless it's you know, basically that interlude. There, oh, there's a bad design. Very nice bad design. Um, you know, it's a nice idea. Uh, they're still unveiling different uh, values. These are the different values instead of numbers and letters. Uh, if you're not familiar with how a Hannah Fuda deck works, I'm not the one to explain it, unfortunately. Um, but it's obviously different than a standard poker deck. And we won't get into all that right now. But it's an interesting deck. Artistically, like I said, very well done. If you're interested, definitely check it out. Operator deck by Olympus Defense Solutions. 8% funded, 9 days to go. Not going to happen at this rate. Then we got the classic horror deck by Single Entertainment Group. It's well funded, 26 days to go. Well funded. It only had like a thousand dollar a five hundred dollar goal I guess at, by the looks of it which is horrible does not make me want to pledge it at all when it's got a five hundred dollar goal um I've seen a lot of darkness uh, the faces is that the bat design let me see here Apparently there were seven or eight people in the uh, designing of this. The uh, face, faces are interesting, except that the index is way, way too low to be closer to the corner. Why is there an unnecessary border on the faces of these cards? I don't know. There's a lot of detail. It's you know it's pretty nice for the most part. It's just the index is way too low and way too in, and there's an unnecessary border. And if that's the back design, again, it looks like it's pushed in way too much. There's a kind of an unnecessary border element. And we get it to rest. And that, that, that's your spades. King, queen, jack, and ace. It's kind of scary looking. There's your hearts in red. That's good. Diamonds, clubs, 
Joker. What's all this? Kickstarter fulfillment with drive through. Never even heard of drive through before, but apparently. They drive right through the publisher and printing aspect and go right to shipping and the customer. I don't know. I've never heard of them before. I don't know what to expect with that. I have concerns. Uh, one of my other concerns, and apparently they got a stretch goal for a Kickstarter exclusive alternate Hertzman deck add-on. So now they're putting two decks with a thousand dollars. Oh my god. This is this. The quality is not going to be good. I don't know who's producing it. Apparently they've been involved with over a dozen projects. I think I saw. That's free launches. None of them were playing cards though, from the looks of it, that I know of. Um, one of my problems is I can see the back design. I can see the tennis spades. And I appreciate that they made the pips for the spades and the clubs in a gold color so it stands out because black on black would not have been that great. That's one of my concerns with the index though. Uh, at least as far as the 10 is concerned. The number of cards, the number of card indexes, not so good. But the core cards are okay. But again, they're pushed in way too much. But my problem is you got this artwork here. And it looks, you know, interesting. However, I can barely see in these pictures what I'm looking at. So, I mean, it's hard to make out what these core cards actually look like from this distance in these pictures. So, it's a, it's a no-go. I don't recommend it. Uh, you don't know what the quality is going to be like. Like, you don't know who the printer is. Uh, you don't know um, really what you're getting. Next, you got Vampire General's Plume Card Deck Extended Comic Number One by Miguel Hartzo. It is funded. Eight days to go again. It had like a hundred dollar goal. That is an absolute pass. You cannot support a project that has like zero financial backing in it, as far as I'm concerned. Ninety nine dollar goal. Eight backers currently. That is absolutely horrible. Obviously, it's some kind of comic thing and okay yes thank you for pointing out you're pregnant uh, is that supposed to uh, get people to support you her name is actually the cell obviously um is that the back design no what i don't even know what the hell i'm looking at there i see mostly comic book cards this is the, the cards horrible one-way back design Faces, not great. They're just comic book style, I guess. I mean, they're okay if you like that sort of thing. Not my cup of tea. I have concerns. That's the tough case. I have concerns with the, uh... Ooh, play. It's actually not bad looking. <laughs> I have concerns with what the quality is going to be like, obviously. I mean, $99 to produce a deck of cards and a comic book. I don't think so. And just bear with me. There's like a couple more here. Ah, the Kingdom of the Fourteen Ladies by Mikel Spatola. Again, another project from him. He just won't give up. It's fifty percent funded, twenty-five days to go. And this one actually looks like it may fund might actually have a success story <laughs> um, and uh, well you never know yes 14 ladies these are the court cards I mean I actually think they're decent I don't like that there's different colors and a background for each one no like it should be Keep each suit with its own color background as far as I'm concerned. Instead of having three different colors for each court guard in the diamond as you can see. Also, I mean the artwork is good. It's very nice compared to some of his previous decks. I wonder where he got it. <laughs> However, why would you cut the woman off right at the bust? Like that's, why? 
if it's all about the ladies, why are you cutting off half her body? <laughs> um, or most of her body. Uh, especially some of them, like right cut off on the bust, and it just doesn't line up well, doesn't look great. Could have been designed a lot better um, and made more pleasing. There's a lot of colors there. Paige, Giselle, Caitlin, not sure who these ladies are supposed to be. Diantha. And then the Jokers, these are 13 and 14 ladies. There you go. So it's very interesting. Each one has like a different color, which I guess is okay. The Aces, however, uh, I mean, it's it's a the Aces pit. It's an okay pip. It's not great. I don't like that the indexes all have the same. They, like that really doesn't do much for me. These Aces, and I do not like that the indexes all have gold coloring. Why not just use the red and the blue that you're using on the pips? It would make it so much better. The back design is actually very nice. There's the blue edition and there's actually a red edition. The tuck case is also pretty nice. However, again, it's a very long name for a deck of cards. You see a lot of other decks out there and it's very simple, to the point. One name, two, one word, two words. They got like 14 different words on there for the name. Okay. Six. Um, and then here's the red edition. Same thing. It's a very nice tuck case. Very nice back design. It's unfortunate that the cards, the faces, aren't so good. And then you get to the number cards as well. And, and I mean, the background seems kind of unnecessary. And in the number cards, though, this is not a problem. Something you know, mentioned. You design these custom pips. And they didn't even use them on the number cards, which kind of defeats the purpose. I've seen this before in another project, and it irritated me a little bit. It's like you create custom pips, and then you don't even bother to use them on the number cards. And again, the indexes are just off putting being in a different color. Maybe it wouldn't work so well for the court cards having red and blue indexes, however, that could be remedied, I'm sure, by changing the color of the cards a bit. And they are apparently being printed by MPC, I'm guessing. But I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, I don't know what to think about that one. You got one more, I think, on Kickstarter, the Draki Cat. Poker cards by Potet Cedric. Let's not even worry about all these tarot decks. And uh, a catechism deck. Hmm. That would have been good when I was in catechism myself. <laughs> um, that was a long time ago. This is currently 27% funded, 23 days to go. Obviously, a really low goal. 900 euro goal. Again, yeah. I hate low goals like that. Um, this is all about cats. And I guess Dracula's a combination of Dracula and cat and vampire kittens. There you go. Uh, if you're wondering about the suits, why it's a V, a D, and an R, obviously it is French suits the valet, the dame, and the R. And they are, well, they're kind of goofy and weird. I mean, I like cats, I have a cat myself, but it's just not my cup of tea. Um, Interesting aces are of course number one because that's how they do it in Europe. And then the back design is just a cat's face. Okay. I do like that they have uh, different names and stories for the cats. I got Al Alia Cat and the Catula. <laughs> My cat's looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Animal. <laughs> Little cat. Victor, hey, look at that. It, it's me. Well, I mean, it's spelled it for me, but it's me. Lest cat. Little cat. Quincy kitten. Ow. Play kitten. Under kitten. Edward. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, uh, you know, they got custom pips. Interesting court cards with their little backstories. Um, however, the back design really doesn't do it for me. And I'm concerned about the goal and who's printing it and the quality. But I have no idea who's printing it. Just that it is. So that is it for Kickstarter this week and Indiegogo. A few new projects, most of them uh, questionable. <laughs> um, stay tuned for my other video with what else is going on in the world of Kickstarter. And there's quite a bit. Stuff from Blue Crown to Eleven and more. So stay tuned for that. And let's see if I can turn this off. Boom.